today I really really enjoyed my classes. So we had we have basically two classes per day, and there are these really big chunks, big conferences, and then uh, questions and answers afterwards. And so we have guest lecturers for every single one of our classes, or mostly every single one of our classes, which makes the whole degree so much more interesting. I'm really enjoying this format because these people are coming and telling us about their own experience, their own point of view, and we get to ask them questions and challenge their point of view and, you know, maybe even ask them questions that they never asked themselves, and then they also obviously tell us things that we never thought about for the most part, or for me at least. So our first class today was with a British designer from London uh, called James. This class was really really interesting because basically it was about speculative design, reconstrained design. It's basically about looking around the design constraints instead of looking at the design constraints. So it's a whole theory, I'm not going to get into it. So I'm just going to tell you about the major points that I really really enjoyed during his lecture. Okay, so firstly he talked about... Oh, I loved this, I loved when he said this. Uh, <laughs> um, so he talked about the progress dogma. He talked about how in the frame of politics, Politicians will often use technology as a way of, of you know, creating this like, this like, oh, like, oh, we're all going to move forward thanks to technology and technology will be our savior and our salvation and this is how we're going to live better lives and, and basically the lecturer just went, this is bullshit. And I absolutely loved it. I was like, ha, ah, yes, let's do this. <laughs> He went on to say that technology maybe, you know, does make our lives slightly better, but technology is not going to be what saves us because up till now, technology is only creating more issues than it's solving in reality. So, um, I mean, it's, it was a little bit more, you know, intricate than that. He talks about, for example, those uh, devices in your home, like the Amazon Echo Dot thing. Uh, uh, he called it a Trojan horse, which I completely agree with. And it's just, it's just, it's literally a mic into your home. I, w I wouldn't buy uh, an Echo Dot device or an Alexa device or a Google Home thing to be honest, because they're not necessary. And that's one of the other points that he talked about, the necessity of a product or a design. So do we really need to be creating these products? Are they really necessary? And that was very interesting because he spoke about how there's this, the, the, there's, there are these issues when you're designing within a corporate project. Most of the time in these types of projects, you're not going to be allowed really to analyze the impact of your product. So this is how you end up with the electric car or how you end up with solar panels or how you end up with these big huge projects that you know seem like a good idea in theory but then when you start analyzing it kind of starts having holes and you know it's not really it's not really eco-friendly, it's not really sustainable, it's not really helping anybody. Because what do you have in an electric car? You have a lithium-ion battery. You have all these, these parts that make it heavier, so it's using more energy. Where are you getting this energy from? Are you just burning fossil fuels for the electricity? Are you harvesting it from a solar panel? What is? Where is this energy coming from? And so there are all these questions that we don't have the answers to and you know some of these projects they're not questioned enough and this is something that I have been thinking about more and more and I just think that it's interesting that he pointed that out basically his entire lecture was just look this might be an issue I love the entire lecture because he also spoke about infrastructure and how you have to kind of look at the local resources and the local culture and the local necessity in order to create the right solutions. It's something that I really agree with uh, because I don't think that products are made to be for the general public. I don't think that that is a good 
target uh, to design for because it's so general it's so i used to do that in my project at school and i didn't take into consideration the details and the intricacy of who is the general public and how are they going to use my product so i think that designing according to where you're living what city you're in what your habits are you know stuff like that is much more interesting especially in terms of energy because we have a tendency of thinking that oh all of a sudden we're gonna find this way of harvesting energy that's super clean and all of our problems are gonna go away and we won't need to burn fossil fuels and we won't need to you know have solar panels everywhere and that's not gonna happen in reality that's not going to happen because this is again this fantasy of technology being our savior uh, when it's not, it's not. It's a bunch of different technologies, a bunch of different things that are going to work together, maybe. But it's not going to be one magical solution. You know, a lot of people are talking about nuclear, a lot of people are talking about wind, solar, all of these different hy hydrogen, all these different, you know, different energy sources. I mean, obviously, we should continue research, but, you know, that what I'm saying is, you should look at the local issues and the local necessity. Why do we need all of these electric this electricity? Can we do these things without electricity? Can we do them comfortably? Do we have a choice to be still living comfortably, as comfortably as we're living today in the Western world in a hundred years? Sorry, my notebook. Um, <laughs> anyway, there's a bunch of questions that we can ask ourselves, and I think that just it's really interesting, and it was a super interesting lecture. And I just wanted to tell you guys about it because I really enjoy it. Um, I also wanted to tell you guys that I am going to be reading this book. Uh, my friend lent it to me. Yeah, I'm really excited to read it. It's called Biomimétique. If you want, I can do like a little bit of summary of the major points that he talks about and maybe talk about it in a video. So let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. Uh, so what are so comments, like. Subscribe. Uh, share my page with your friends if you think that they'll enjoy it. All right, that, that was fun. That was fun. I hope you'll enjoy this and uh, I'll see you later.